Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Hi, my name is Carla and welcome to today's video. Okay, so today I have a little DIY video for you guys where I'm going to show you how I turned this whole top into something new and perfect for the summer. So this isn't super complicated at all. It's actually very easy, straightforward, but I wanted to do this DIY because I wanted to try out my new sewing machine right here, which I found off Lazada and I thought it's really cute. So I went and got myself one, but it's super cheap. So no high expectations whatsoever. I think the quality is not going to be good. If anything, maybe shitty even, but we don't know that for sure. So I'm going to go and test it out. But of course, again, before we get on this video, the usual, I want to make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So you're not missing out on any of my new uploads. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Now that's out of the way, let's get to flipping. Okay, just a disclaimer, you guys, this is not going to be perfect because I'm going to wing this whole DIY. So please bear with me for that and let us begin. So the first thing I'm going to do is just lay it down flat and I'm going to mark the neckline of how I want it to be. So I'm thinking of a square neckline. So I'm just doing that. And then after I have marked it down, I'm just going to cut through where I marked it. So to do that, I'm going to fold it into half just to make sure that both sides are even. Once that's done, what I'm going to do is trim off the sleeves as well. Now this top has a lot of ruching detail on it, so I want to keep those details. So for the sleeves, I'm just going to cut through right below where the ruching detail ends. And I'm going to do the same on the other side. So this is what it should look like after. So I'm just going to clean it off a little bit, some of the edges of the neckline. And then we're going to add some more ruching detail into this top, specifically at the center. This kind of top is very popular this summer, so I wanted to have something idea wide for myself. And to do that, I'm going to flip this inside out and we are going to add a piece of fabric at the center to create the ruching detail. So the fabric is gonna come from the sleeves that I trimmed off earlier. I think the length is already perfect, so I'm just gonna cut a strip of about two to three inches. And then we're gonna attach it by sewing through the center and then both sides. Okay, now it's time to test this baby out and see how this is gonna work. This is super, super tiny. <laughs> It's actually pretty difficult sewing with thick fabric on this one. Okay, so once I have sewn everything in place, I should have something like this where I'm able to insert two fingers on both holes like that, if that makes any sense. Next, we're going to do is create a string that will go through the holes that I did earlier. And to do that, we're going to cut again another strip of fabric or well, two strips of fabric from the arms and then we're gonna attach to those fabric on both ends so that we have this one long strip of fabric. This is also about two to three inches thick. Now, as you can see, halfway along, I decided to just hand sew everything because the sewing machine is indeed a shitty quality one. Okay, I'm telling you, the quality is so bad that I decided to not use it anymore along the way. And I'm just gonna hand sew the rest of the items I'm gonna need to sew until I finish this whole DIY. Now I have this one long strip of fabric. I'm gonna sew along the edges to attach them together. And I'm gonna sew it off camera and be right back. Okay, now that I have this one long strip of fabric attached to each other, I'm going to flip it over to create one long string and to do that I'm going to use a pin like that and then I'm going to in 
insert it through the hole until I'm able to flip it inside out. Now when the whole thing's done, it should look something like this. And then we're gonna put it through the holes that we created earlier on the shirt or top to create that ruching detail. And here we have our final product. Actually, not so final. So I tried the top earlier and decided that I didn't really like the square neckline, so instead I'm gonna turn it into an off shoulder top. So I'm just gonna follow along, cut the line from the neckline through the shoulder, so if that makes sense, so that I have one whole seamless line just like that. Et voila! We have an off shoulder summer ruched top. recap okay as proven it's really bad quality i don't think i'm gonna use it any further well maybe for something like quick repair or quick stitching or whatever but my hand sewing skill is so much better than this actual sewing machine so and it's cute it's gonna be on display no regrets though it's super cheap i only bought it for like 25 ringgit so it's around 5 usd so yeah it's just a toy and that is it for today's video guys, thank you for watching and again if you're not subscribed yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, like, comment and share. I'll see you in the next one, bye! Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see something similar, then make sure to check out these two videos right here. And if you like the kind of content that I'm putting out, then please make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything new that's coming up. And don't forget to hit the notification bell as well.